This kid is spectacular. Randy Moss is the best young receiver ever. We've got a star on our hands. Number 10, Ben Roethlisberger. The legend of Big Ben took off in 2004 after starting QB Tommy Maddox suffered an injury in week two. Maddox, and look at Maddox. Tommy Maddox is hurt. He's holding that right arm. There is a new quarterback, and he is the rookie out of Miami of Ohio, Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger settled in quickly as Pittsburgh's new starter, going an immaculate 13-0 on the season. There's Taylor, Lee Flicker on the way. But the Cowboys converge, flings it over to Reimersma. Reimersma has a first down at the Dallas 35. How about the improvisational skills of the rookie quarterback? Looks like a sure sack, good movement, and in the old option pitch to Jay Reimersma. His greatest moment came in week eight when he led a 34-20 win over the Patriots, snapping New England's record 21-game win streak. Pumps once. Ben throws it long down the field for Plex. He's trying to run under it. He does. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And Big Ben is for real. He's going to go to the Pro Bowl 90 time. They're trying to beat the down clock. Barely does it. Back to Burris. Burris plucks it out of the air. And it's a touchdown, Steelers. Roethlisberger was named Offensive Rookie of the Year, sharing the league lead for game-winning drives with five. While Big Ben's numbers weren't dazzling by today's metrics, he did set a then-rookie record for completion percentage. Back is the blocking back now, and Hines Ward again. Ward, 10-5, touchdown. Third and long, he's got Randall L open at the 10, and he bounces in, touchdown Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger setting up in the pocket, going down the field. Burris, touchdown Steelers. With time, all day to throw. Now flushed out. Throws on the run. Burris there. What a throw. Touchdown Pittsburgh. And this Ben Roethlisberger has some magic in that right arm. In leading the Steelers to their longest in-season winning streak in team history, Roethlisberger helped Pittsburgh to a 15-1 record, a division title, and the AFC's number one seed. If it were up to me, I'd change the game to all third and long. Why would that be? Definite pass. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, the name of the game is get to that quarterback. Yeah, they don't like it. Number 9, Al Bubba Baker. The man they called Bubba was a menace from the jump at defensive end for the Detroit Lions. Best known for setting the unofficial season sack record as a rookie, Baker racked up 23 QB takedowns in a dream first year. There's Kramer back on first down. Baker put it on pressure and he got it. Bubba Baker now with seven and a half sacks for the year. Manning on second and 11 running for his life. Broke it up, that will be where the number. The Detroit Lions have recovered. You watch him come in and slap the ball out of his hand by Al Baker. And Bartkowski with a lot of yardage to get, and instead he's belted by Al Baker, another youngster who's going to have a tremendous career in Detroit. The 1978 Defensive Rookie of the Year was well-deserving of a first-team All-Pro nod. While the Lions went 7-9 that season, finishing third in the NFC Central, Baker provided a bright spot for years to come as he dominated opposing offenses with double-digit sack seasons in subsequent years. Montana. You just can't keep Baker out of there. Number 8. Ronnie Lott You could argue 1981 is the best defensive draft class ever, but more on that later. Eighth overall pick Ronnie Lott made an immediate impact on a struggling 49ers defense. Team goes up the middle. They do block him this time. The pass is picked off by Ronnie Lott. Now that's all she wrote. Touchdown 49ers. I'll tell you, you're talking about a couple people controlling and changing a defense. I think we're seeing that here today. Going back to pass Anderson over the middle, and it is intercepted, taken away by Ronnie Lott. He's at the 40. The Niners went from allowing nearly 26 points per game in 1980 to just 15 in 1981, thanks in large part to the rookie defensive back from USC. Lott picked off seven passes, including a league-leading three pick sixes in the regular season, then he added a fourth against the Giants in the playoffs. He's throwing right side. It is intercepted at the 20-yard line. 
They might go in. 15, down to the 10, 5, touchdown. What do you want? The instinctual DB added 89 tackles and two fumble recoveries on his way to an all-pro campaign with the Niners. Lott finished second in Defensive Rookie of the Year voting and sixth in MVP voting. And to top it all off, his San Francisco squad went 13-3 on the season, winning Super Bowl 16. This Dallas duo led the Cowboys to a 13-win season in 2016. Dak Prescott produced a 104.9 passer rating, while his running mate Ezekiel Elliott compiled a league-best 1,631 rushing yards along with 15 scores. The Cowboys have second and 18. Setting up a screen for Elliott with blocking. Huge play. Elliott into Steeler territory. Down the sideline. And in for the touchdown 83 yards for the rookie combination of Prescott to Elliott it's Elliott Elliott for the touchdown Cowboys lead and that rookie combination of Prescott and Elliott what a game for Elliott Tommy Nobis lived up to the hype as the number one pick in the 1966 NFL Draft. The middle linebacker led the expansion Falcons in their first ever season, racking up an unofficial 294 tackles. It's just mind-boggling. Edron James went ballistic in 1999, leading the league with over 1,500 rushing yards. Edge also tied for an NFL-high 17 touchdowns and put up over 2,100 yards from scrimmage. it off one-handed. All Peyton Manning can do is laugh. He said that was unbelievable. Indy won 13 games in its first division title in 12 seasons. Number 7, Jim Brown. He's the only rookie in league history to win MVP. Some call Jim Brown the greatest to ever do it, and his first year set the tone for a Hall of Fame career. With a rare combination of power and speed, Brown rushed for a league-best 942 yards and 9 touchdowns, and that was in a 12-game season. Considered by most experts as the greatest fullback ever to play the game, Jimmy's harder to bring down than a wild steer. Jimmy Brown again, all 228 pounds, bowling through the middle and thundering 68 yards for the fourth score. Here's a striking example of his individual brilliance. Jimmy's first down, Brown picks up that and then some as he breaks loose on a spine-tingling open field gallop. Brown set a single-game rookie record with 237 yards against the Rams, a mark that stood for 40 years. The number six overall pick went on to carry Cleveland to a 9-2-1 record and a spot in the 1957 NFL Championship game. Number six, Earl Campbell. The Tyler Rose did it all in 1978. Campbell ran over defenses to the tune of 1,450 yards and 13 touchdowns for the Oilers. The bruising back led the NFL in rushing yards and put on a performance for the ages on Monday Night Football against Miami. Campbell, he has great speed. And he has tremendous strength. Oh. Campbell, forget it. Second down, forget it. That's what he can do now. Side, gets the block from his setback. Campbell to the outside. Goodbye! On second and eight. Campbell just outruns everyone to the right. Look out! He's gone! He makes it all the way. Puts his head down. 80 yard touchdown. This is over. What a show this man has put on tonight. What you have seen tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's a truly great football player. Campbell was a one-man band for Houston. He more than doubled the total yardage of any other player on the team. Number 34 came away with both the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year and Offensive Player of the Year awards. Campbell literally carried Houston all the way to the AFC title game, falling to the mighty Steel Curtain in Pittsburgh. 
Number 5. Night Train Lane It's not surprising the player with perhaps the coolest name in pro football history also holds one of the most impressive single-season records. The undrafted Dick Night Train Lane picked off a record 14 passes in his rookie year with the Rams, not to mention a league-best 298 return yards, and he did it all in 12 games. Lane had four multi-pick outings in 1952, helping lead the Rams to a 9-3 record. The storybook season ended with a divisional loss to the Lions, but the future Hall of Famer showed exactly the kind of player he would be. Dan Marino was the last quarterback taken in the first round of the 1983 draft, and he took that personally. Marino casually threw for 2,210 yards and 20 TDs in just 11 games on his way to a Pro Bowl nod. Marino will throw it. He pops it. It is caught for a touchdown. Threw a rope in one of the more incredible passes I have ever seen. Down the middle, touchdown, Matt Moore. Deep is open. open. He's there, 30 yard line, 20. It's Duper. Duper into the end zone. Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert broke the rookie record with 31 passing touchdowns in 2020. His 4,336 yards was good enough for second all-time amongst first-year quarterbacks. Takes the snap, blitz comes from the right side, rolls, escapes pressure, looking downfield. Keenan Allen in the end zone, caught, touchdown, Chargers! What a throw by Herbert as he's falling out of bounds on the move. Herbert going to go for it all. Corner of the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. Herbert steps up into the pocket. Let's it go to a wide open Allen. Touchdown, Los Angeles. There's no denying RG3 had one of the most electrifying rookie campaigns in recent memory. 3,200 yards and 20 touchdowns through the air and 815 yards on the ground, a rookie quarterback rushing record. Takes a snap, scrambles up the middle, breaks the tackle. He's to the 30. 35-40, up the sideline, 50, RG3, electrified, all the way, into the end zone, RG3 <laughs> for the touchdown, can you believe it? 76 yards all the way. Where's number 11? Griffin keeps it, he's got him, downfield, Robinson for the touchdown. No flags. This is the grip with fingers spread wide that gives the maximum control in passing. Sammy spots the receiver as he draws the ball back behind his ear and lets it fly. Slingin' Sammy Ball led the NFL in six major statistical categories in his 1937 rookie season. No wonder his Washington squad went on to win its first NFL championship that year. Ball pitches once more, this one in the end zone. Number four, Eric Dickerson. In a loaded 1983 draft class, it was the number two pick who had the best rookie campaign. You want numbers? Look no further. He's going back to throw a forward pass. Swings one out the left. It's caught open by Anders Dickerson. He goes into the one-yard line. They've called it a touchdown. Oops, they've called it a touchdown. He cuts out to his left. Bounds from running room to the 25 to 20. Out his way to 15 to 10. The 5. He's into the end zone for a touchdown for the Rams. 441 touches, most in the NFL, 2,212 yards from scrimmage, most in the NFL, 20 rushing and receiving touchdowns, tying a rookie record. In fact, the Rams running back holds the rookie record for carries and rushing yards as well. Third down two. Dickerson trying to pick up the first, finds the hole, breaks a tackle at 40, 50, Dickerson out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Dickerson, 29, the setbacks. Dickerson, touch back in, touchdown. Oh. What a move. Boy, does he change direction. The gift to Dickerson. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown. Movement in motion. Here's Dickerson. Eric Dickerson. Touchdown. Third touchdown for Dickerson. Ran to the left side. Wide to the right. Barber pitch back to Dickerson. Turns left. Cuts inside. Out to the 30. 35 to the 40. To the 45. To the 50. Down to the 35, down to the 25, down to the 10, 5, touchdown, Eric Dickerson! To say Dickerson dominated in his first year might be an understatement. Coming off a 2-7 strike shortened campaign the year before, the Rams improved to 9-7 in 1983, good enough for a playoff spot. The Offensive Rookie of the Year led L.A. past the Cowboys in the wild card round, only to bow out against Washington a week later. But Dickerson proved his worth, finishing second MVP voting behind Joe Theismann. 
Number three, Lawrence Taylor. One day, maybe, you know, five, six, seven, eight years from now, possibly I could be the best linebacker in the NFL. We said 1981 was a stacked defensive class. If not for LT, the aforementioned Ronnie Lott would have been the defensive rookie of the year. But Taylor didn't just win that award, he became the first and only rookie to win defensive player of the year, too. He wreaked havoc in his first season, accounting for nine and a half unofficial sacks, an interception, and a fumble recovery. He's fumbled, Lawrence Taylor back downfield. 18 years since the playoffs. And now they advance because of Lawrence Taylor. First down for the Eagles. At the 40, Montgomery got it. Here comes Taylor on a blitz and Taylor has him. Taylor takes him on with his helmet, pushes him to the side, and right in on Jaworski doesn't have a chance. Number 56, he's not only fast and quick, but he's strong. Lawrence Taylor on the blitz. He does it well. You talk about strong. You talk about athletic ability. Look at that. Just like Lott did in San Francisco, Taylor completely reshaped the New York defense. The G-Man allowed over 26 points per game in 1980. That would shrink down to just 16 points per game in 1981, third fewest in the league. Taylor powered the Giants to a 9-7 record in their first playoff appearance since 1963. Number 2, Randy Moss. I'm going to come here and try to do my, the best I can to rip the NFL up. And that's just what Moss did in his record-breaking rookie year with the Vikings in 1998. His outrageous stat line proved all the pre-draft doubters wrong. Spread out by Johnson, deep down the left side, right for, for Moss. He juggles, he's got a touchdown! There are going to be nightmares for cornerbacks in the NFL when they go up against Randy Moss. Three wide receivers, Smith in the lineup, comes out of the backfield, but the deep throw for Randy Moss! Touchdown! We've got a star on our hands in the NFL, Randy Moss! And he is throwing it back to Cunningham, the old flea picker, and Open is Randy Moss, and in the end zone is a Minnesota touchdown. Here's Cunningham back to throw it and going deep, and he's got Moss, and there's a flag on the play, and Moss has caught the pass and is in the end zone anyway. This guy is amazing. Randy Moss is amazing. And I don't know how you stop him. I don't either. And, you know, and, they're, and they're so fun to watch. I mean, yeah. you, know, you, you can put two guys on him. That doesn't do any good. Well, Cowboys showing blitz. Minnesota. Picks. Randy Moss breaks a tackle and Randy Moss races down the sideline and Randy Moss just outruns everybody into the end zone. He is incredible. Paired with the great Chris Carter, Moss amassed a rookie record 17 receiving touchdowns to go along with over 1,300 yards. He was the obvious choice for Offensive Rookie of the Year and finished third in MVP voting. First down from the 48-yard line. Randall going deep again, adjusting his Moss, oh. and then oh. Randy Moss squeezes his way in for the touchdown. This is like a circus out here with these guys. Randy Moss is the best young receiver that I have seen maybe ever. The 21st overall pick seemingly held every team accountable for his draft slide, leading the Vikings to a 15-1 record. Moss helped Minnesota put up 556 total points, a then single season record. To this day, no rookie receiver has come close to 17 touchdowns. Linebacker Micah Parsons came into the league a grown man when the Cowboys selected him 12th overall in 2021. Mahomes under pressure, Parsons knocked it out. And the Cowboys have it. How about the rookie Micah Parsons? What a play. This kid is spectacular he keeps and down he goes Micah Parsons got another his 13 sacks made him the unanimous rookie of the year helping the Dallas D lead the league in takeaways same year different side of the ball Bengals wideout Jamar Chase racked up 1455 receiving yards setting a new rookie record in the Super Bowl era a lot of noise good blocking on the screws Chase found it oh there he goes he had him in a blender and he's off to the races. This will be six. What a play. 82 yards. Add in 13 touchdowns and since he took the league by storm on their way to reaching Super Bowl 56. That was their first first down. Burrow back to throw. Wants to float it high and deep for Chase. Yeah. He's at the 20. Yeah. Reaches out. Comes down to the ball. A spectacular 
fingertip catch. The man they call the freak holds the official rookie sack record with 14 and a half in 1999. Play action, Canell in trouble. He's sacked. Who got him? Who else? Javon Kirst. Oh, and he's sacked. Javon Kirst, the number one sack man in the AFC and the first rookie defensive end in the AFC going to the NFL as a starter in the Pro Bowl. Javon Kirst was an all-pro leading Tennessee all the way to Super Bowl 34. Wilkins on the approach. He's going to pop it up in the air and he's going to let Devin Hester return it from his five. Hester starts at the 10, veering right, now angling to the middle at the 20, hits the gas, 25, 30, 35, 40, forget it! Nobody's going to get him! Long gone! Devin <laughs> Hester, you are ridiculous! 10, 5, dancing to the end zone, touchdown! But Devin Hester led the NFC in both kickoff returns and punt returns. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester. Trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave, and here he goes. It's Hester inside the 30. Hester's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. And no flag, 92 yards. Give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. Number one, Gail Sayers. They say nobody ran more gracefully than the Kansas Comet. Well, certainly Gale Sayers' 22 total touchdowns were graceful enough for our top spot. Sayers, the Kansas Comet, outflanks a pair of crack packer backs as he sweeps into the end zone to put the Bears on the scoreboard. Bukic and Sayers come back now and hit with the play of the day, a sensational 65-yard touchdown pass. Watch this, it's a beauty. Sayers was a Swiss Army knife for Chicago in 1965, 800 plus rushing yards, 800 plus return yards, and 500 plus receiving yards in a prolific rookie campaign. He led the league with over 2,200 all-purpose yards and matched a single game record with six touchdowns against the 49ers. With that game just two minutes old and the field slick from rain, the mighty monsters of the midway assert their superiority. Gale Sayers sprints past the prospectors for an 80-yard screen pass touchdown run. As the saying goes, you ain't seen nothing yet. Watch him now. Sayers, NFL Rookie of the Year. A one-man gale. Dashing 85 dazzling yards on the longest punt return of the season. Here he is, galloping Gale, carrying the mail. This is his sixth touchdown of the game. The Bears went 9-5 and five in Sayers' rookie season, their best year while he was the starting tailback. He powered Chicago to the league's second-best scoring offense and won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Sayers went on to make five straight All-Pro teams to start his career on his way to Canton.